It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Thursday, November the 29th. I'm Michael Graff. Major changes in our weather pattern begin today with increasing clouds and chances of rain coming in nearby tonight. But the big story will be the cool down in our temperatures. Readings going well below average, and that'll continue all the way through next week. Let's get out there and talk about it. The almanac from yesterday, 76 for the high in the valley, 51 the morning low. No rain in the bucket so far this month, but that could change by tonight. Outside right now here at 7.05 a.m., mostly cloudy skies in the valley. Starting out at 53 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 34, humidity 48%. Winds are light, barometer is rising. Temperatures around the area this morning, mid-40s to mid-50s for most of us. And around the nation, temperatures moderating a bit. Still pretty chilly up north with teens and 20s for the northern plains, the southeast U.S., which was well below freezing yesterday. Many of those spots are starting out in the 30s and 40s today. Here's the upper look across the country, and you can see our zonal flow is beginning to transition as we have that deep low now beginning to come on shore to the California coast later this afternoon and tonight. That's going to drag a cold front across the area. The watch warning map, winter weather advisories and wind advisories across northern Arizona, where they could see as much as 10 inches of snow in a few spots. Those wind advisories also in Southern California, where you could run into some blowing dust today. Flash flood watches out there as well. Winter storm watches for the Northern Rockies and out into the High Plains. Convective outlook for today. No organized areas of severe weather anywhere across the contiguous United States. And rainfall valid through next Thursday morning. This is coming from the WPC. Amounts around a third of an inch here in the Valley. Heavier totals up north and across Southern California. And so we'll get into the details of our weather now and explore the models. Here we go to the GFS, the 06 z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. There's our cold upper trough entering the Great Basin. A cold front drags south from that into Southern California. That'll be moving east into our state later this afternoon and tonight. So down at the surface, increasing clouds today. Highs in the upper 60s and low 70s. And those winds will be picking up too, especially over northern Arizona. Southern Nevada and Southern California could run into some patchy blowing dust out there. The rain should hold off for most of the day around here. Could we see a shower this afternoon? Yes, but I think the better chances come in tonight. Here's the high-resolution NAM, the 3-kilometer NAM at 10 o'clock tonight. And this is where our frontal band of showers and storms will begin to enter the area. And yes, there could be a few thunderstorms. Cape values, uh, hardly any, but enough to where we might put in the mention of isolated thunderstorms in here. Certainly nothing severe, but maybe some gusty winds with our cold front. So... Lows tonight should be down into the 40s and low 50s. And then tomorrow, breezy, much cooler, partly sunny, a slight chance of some showers, especially in the morning, and continued chances of precipitation up north, rain and snow. Highs tomorrow, much cooler, low to mid 60s. Saturday, cool, partly sunny, slight chance of a shower, better chances north of the valley. High temperatures, again, upper 50s and low 60s. Sunday, upper 50s and low 60s, partly sunny. We'll mention a slight chance of a shower, but I really think, again, the best chances will be over northern and eastern Arizona. And then Monday, cool temperatures coming on in here for sure. That reinforcing shot of cool air comes in Sunday night. Monday, high temperatures only mid and upper 50s. And then Monday night into Tuesday morning, we could get down in the 30s in many spots, low 40s in the mid-city perhaps, but could see some frost in some of the outlying valley areas. If you live uh, somewhere up toward Carefree and Cave Creek, might want to consider covering those plants. And then on Tuesday, we're still only in the upper 50s, and the sky is partly sunny. And we've got another weather system approaching. On Wednesday, our system gets closer to us. Moisture on the increase. Rain coming into Southern California, Southern Nevada. And the clouds will be picking up too. Temperatures remain below average in the low to mid-60s. Here's a week from today, Thursday, December the 6th. And now we're dealing with the potential of a widespread rain event. This is still a week out, keep in mind, but there's been pretty good model consistency in the idea of a pretty sharp trough coming in here. The European has picked up on this as well. Temperatures would be cooling off. We'd probably stay in the 50s. Chances of rain, maybe some thunderstorms, locally heavy rain possible, and certainly snow up north. Then Friday, December the 7th, that system begins to move off to the east, but still some lingering showers around. And then here's the end of the 10-day forecast period, Saturday, December the 8th. And ridging builds in behind that, a shortwave ridge, probably only temporary, though, because we're in a pretty active pattern, it appears. 
and temperatures would rebound a bit back toward the mid 60s or so. But it doesn't look like after today we'll see any highs above 70 anytime soon. Let's take a look at the temperatures through the period. This is coming off of the European Ensemble, and I think these overnight lows are probably just a little bit too cool for central Phoenix, but certainly there could be a couple of spots that get down into the 30s. We'll keep that in mind. Uh, otherwise, uh, high temperatures well below average all the way out through at least the next 10 days and perhaps even beyond that. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Plus, your comments, questions, suggestions, all of your feedback, always encouraged as well. Be safe out there. Have yourselves a fantastic Thursday. And here is your forecast. Oh,